Welcome to Third Phase Moon. We've got some big news for you in regards to new scientific experiments that are coming up in 2019. One of the experiments is trying to figure out are black holes basically the fuel for alien craft to traverse across interstellar space? And second, China. They're about to build something in their country that's equivalent to the sun's energy. Now let's get to the reports right now. Brent did some research, listen up. Hey Blake, check this out. There's a new SETI plan to actually detect alien starships powered by black holes. To actually detect alien civilizations, astronomers need to make some assumptions about the forms they might take and their technological artifacts that they could leave behind. There's a newspaper article by a mathematician from Kansas State University that does just that, posting that a sufficiently advanced alien civilization would likely build starships powered by the radiation thrown off by small black holes, and speculating that astronomers might use gamma telescopes to spot evidence of these black hole ships. The basic idea, according to mathematician Lewis Crane, is that spaceships powered by a black hole will leave distinctive spillovers from gamma rays. He suggests astronomers could detect the spillovers using a telescope like a orbital gamma ray telescope. If some advanced civilization had such a starship currently of a very high energy, gamma ray telescopes could detect it out of 100 to 1,000 light years if it were in its beam. Crane also said in a press release that it could be distinguished from natural sources, but they're steadily changing redshift over periods of years to decades. Crane also says provocatively that he believes as astronomers may have already spotted several gamma ray sources for which no natural explanation has been given. He also speculated about what it would mean for a civilization to be capable of creating an artificial black hole. And it sounds, this sounds actually pretty epic. To produce an artificial black hole, we would need to focus a billion tons of gamma ray laser to clear dimensions. Crane said in the press release, it's like making as many as high tech nuclear bombs as they are automobiles on earth. Just the scale of that is beyond and currently our world economy. Like I found this interesting as well. There's an artificial sun that China is about to complete this year. In November, Chinese researchers announced that an experimental advanced superconducting tomahawk reactor and artificial sun designed to mimic the nuclear fusion process, the real sun using an artificial sun designed to mimic the nuclear fusion process the real sun's uses to genetic energy had hit a milestone by achieving an electron temperature of 1,000 million degrees Celsius. Now, officials are saying they believe they'll wrap up construction on a new artificial sun this year. And they claim this device will be able to hit a milestone in ion temperature, putting us one step closer to harnessing the power of nuclear fusion. On Sunday, Duan Zuru, an official at the China National Nuclear Corporation, announced during the annual season of the Chinese People's Political Conservative Conference that engineers would wrap up construction on the Nationals HL2M Tomahawk in 2019. The artificial sun's plasma is mainly composed of electrons and ions. Duane told the media, according to the Global Times, that the country's existing Tomahawk devices have achieved an electron temperature of over 1 million degrees Celsius in its core plasma, an ion temperature of 50 million C, and it is the ion that generates energy in the device. The HL2M Tomahawk will be available to achieve the ion temperature of 1 million degrees Celsius, about seven times hotter than the real sun's ion temperature. This meets meeting with the Global Times calls one of the three challenges to reach a goal of harnessing the nuclear fusion. If he's right, the device could serve as a template for future nuclear reactors bringing the dream of unlimited clean energy one step closer to reality. 
All right, both of these experiments coming up in 2019 are basically huge in my opinion, and I'm sure we're gonna find out some answers by the end of the year, but right now let's get to this experiment being done in the United States by an American university in regards to trying to figure out are black holes actually fuel for alien craft traversing across the universe. If there's a power out there that needs to be harnessed, you would think a black hole would be a good place to look. Now, apparently with this new experiment, they're trying to figure if they could conclude that black holes are being harnessed by energy. The implications behind this are pretty huge. How are they gonna do this, Brent? Yeah, Blake, it's like a needle in a haystack. We've basically come a long way with our experiments and apparatus that basically looks into our night skies and looks into our universe. It took a long time before we even knew that there's exoplanets out there. So there's all sorts of ways of looking at this. I think we're on the cusp of this new technology that's gonna get us to the truth. Are there craft, alien species, tapping the energy of black holes? Why not? That's the best way to travel. The power's unlimited. Absolutely, I kind of think of it this way. You would think that a mechanic would be able to figure out if your battery is running low. So they put their indicators on there and see there's some energy being drawn on the battery. Where is this energy being drawn from? Well, in conclusion, they could figure out that it's being drawn from some kind of source. So the point is they conclude if a black hole is being drawn by some kind of second party, basically. Through mathematic figures in this new scientific experiment, they're gonna be able to tell us if black holes are being drawn from something. I'm excited to hear what's gonna go down in 2019 in regards to this new technology and what we're gonna learn. Now, what's going on in China? Now, this is a little spooky. They wanna create some kind of energy and basically mimic the power of the sun. In actuality, they're gonna create their own sun in China for energy. But this could be disastrous if they don't harness this kind of power in a way that could go awry. Now, I wanna get your opinion, Brett. Who's behind this? Why is China doing this now? And Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at all this and somebody's gotta do it. Somebody's gotta create a power of free energy. It, hey, if you could get a sun in the palm of your hand, that's basically solving all the world's problems on our energy crisis. I do think that there is applications of, of bad ways that we could use this, but if we're looking at it for true technology and our future for the human race, I do believe that this new tech of creating miniature suns more than what the sun actually produces. It's, it's quite insane. There's something to the science and I think it needs to get out. Well, what's amazing to me is if they're gonna be creating things hotter than the sun to harness this power, they must have some kind of technology that we're not aware of right now. I'm wondering if there's some kind of alien kind of involvement here because the power that is being suggested that's gonna be coming out in 2019, this new experiment, is mind boggling. We're gonna to have to wait and see what happens next, but we're gonna be keeping a close eye on China and this new university experiment to figure out if alien craft are actually drawing power from black holes. Stay tuned for that. For more updates, subscribe, hit that notification button right here at Third Phase Moon. We'll be reporting here very soon, and we got some new UFO videos that we wanna share with you. Keep your eyes on the skies, everybody. We're not alone. Thanks, Brett.